window. It's blocked up with okay. somebody's bed. The old. Um, make sure I haven't missed anything. No. Can I brush the horse? I don't wanna. Nope. All right, so maybe they left something behind. Ah, yes, sweet. Uh, where's the constitution gone? Cool. Anyway. Hey! It looks pretty clear in here now. Say, did you get the pen on our way out? No, I... I found a blanket blocking the chimney. Son, do you know anything about a blanket? Uh, didn't the dude next to you have one earlier? Uh... Uh, hey, catch you later. Alright, um, got a pin. Um... So, I figure, okay, I know I'm supposed to get Benjamin Franklin to provide me, let's go see what Benjamin's doing. Um, what was this? It's some kind of legal mumbo jumbo. Hmm. Gotta light it on fire. Whoa, that'd be a bummer for Brad. <laughs> Maybe I can see him. I mean, I'm supposed to be making something for for him. Hey, what is it this time? What was it you needed for that battery again? Oil, vinegar, and gold. Let me know if you happen to cross Hey, it. I have some of those things. Okay, oil. Ah, excellent. I need that for my super battery. Uh, someone's got the vinegar. Gold. Where do I get gold from? Stolen from the desk mm, of George right Washington. Right there. Ah, okay, cool. excellent. I need that for my super battery. Last piece of the puzzle. Ooh. Maybe we should add a rule that you can't dump sludge into the water supply. <laughs> what manner of fool would do that in the first place? You're right. I think we're getting close. Pick up. Vinegar, cool. All right, let's go make a battery. my ingenious battery. Stand back, boy. Give me room to work. I really like that sound effect. of modern science. It will look lovely here on the shelf until I take it with me to Baltimore. Uh, wait. Where? Battery. Battery. Pick up. Don't look now, 
now, but the British are coming, dude. Eh? Well, is that supposed to be funny? I'm very busy. Cool. Uh, all right, let's see what old Benjamin's up to. Now he was in that one. Yes. Hi. Sorry, can't talk. Busy making history. Um, battery. That doesn't need a battery. Control. I don't wanna. What does he need? He's a scalpel to the face. That, man. No, but you want to borrow this great? Book? Yeah. Is it lightweight and waterproof? Uh, no. Then I have no use for it. It looks kind of small. It looks kind of small for me. It looks. It looks more like a raincoat than a lab coat. <sighs> I got something good for you, Mister. Uh, Mister. Mister Brainstorm. Yes, hand it over. Hmm, doesn't this belong to somebody? Yeah, Red Edison. Ah. I'm sorry, but the man has no vision. A lightweight, durable fabric like this going to waste down in his basement. When I'm done with it, it will fly. Hmm. Eureka! The all-season Francocopter, ready to make history. Getting close. No, there's no fuse. So, what do I light? For the last time, you're not going to light anything. You just push it. The whole time? How am I going to get up that high? Listen, just wait for me to say the word now. Then push the kite into the air, all right? I'm on you, lasagna. Let's hope so. Uh, yeah, there we go. Now, <laughs> what part of the word now didn't you understand? <laughs> Look, it's very simple. I say now, and you push the kite. Comprenez vous? Got it. Marvelous. Push the kite. Yep. Now. I missed the push part. We. <laughs> She's handling kind of funny. You got it. Just hang on there. She's too heavy. I can't control her. Hang on, Ben. Hang on. She's breaking up. She's breaking up. <laughs> Run for your life. <laughs> now that was interesting. Yeah. Say, can I see that kite for a second? No, I'm taking it back to my lab in Philly right now so I can study the results. Wish me luck. I never got your name. It's Hoagie, sir. Nice working with you, Hoagie. I promise to name an invention after you someday. Gosh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, pick up. Sweet. We done with him. Okay. Boom! Look at that. Wow. Okay, cool. Now, everything I haven't used, I'm going to send back to Bernard. Uh, probably that. I can't remember where we got that or why we have it. We've used that. Uh, he's used that. Put next book. Oh, I'll grab that first. The party that? of the first part shall hereby be known as 
a crazed maniacal genius. Um, okay. Maybe, okay, yep. What else we got? Give him the book as well. Just in case. Um. Okay, so. All we need is. Two million dollars. Um. He hasn't seen this yet. I think. I got the contract for you to sign, ah, Doctor. Yep, 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 yep. Sorry, I don't like to sign things that I haven't read. Okay, so read it first. I'm busy trying to think of a way to save humanity. I don't have time to read. Now leave me alone. Um, talk. Will you please sign this contract? I don't sign things I haven't read. But the whole human race is at risk. Of course! That's why I'm busy trying to think of a way to save it. I don't have time to read. Now leave me alone. Will you please read sign it, man. this contract? I don't Be cool. sign things I haven't read. Hmm. Sign it or I'll get real mad. And do what? Not be my friend anymore? Ha ha ha. Will you please sign this contract? I don't sign things I haven't read. Oh, forget it. I'll get rid of Purple Tentacle myself. Oh, yeah? How? Um. I'm getting Purple Tentacle declared insane and arrested. That's a good idea. But I need a note signed by a doctor. Oh. Hey, I'm a doctor. We're in luck. Well, good luck. The party of the first part okay, shall hereby cool. be known as what do we do with it? a crazed maniacal genius. Um, be with me, be with me. Okay. Um. The party of the first part shall hereby be known as a crazed maniacal genius. All right. Where can I go? Still haven't used this. Maybe, Neat. Maybe Not funny enough. Mm. So close. I don't think there's anything. In here. What about me? Hey! What's up, Bernard? Hmm. Um, not much, actually. Still saving the world and all that. Oh, well, good luck then. Um, okay. Bowling ball? Maybe that's just there for comedic effect. This is upstairs. This room. 
It looks like a physics professor I knew in the second grade. Creepy. This guy, surely something here. Pony Express stamps. Pony stamps. Yes, not the most valuable kind, but they have a lot of sentimental value to me. Um. Gum. I'd rather uh. not. Funnel. Coffee? Hmm. I don't know. It's powerful stuff. I need Ah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Read. No, I like it the way it is. Maybe I spell Decap the coffee. wouldn't help there. <laughs> hey, be careful. You almost hit my stamps. Ooh, it'd be an awful shame if. Hey, wanna see a neat trick? Sure. Neat, huh? Uh. <gasps> my Pony Express stamps. You ruined my Pony Express stamps. Not to mention five years of therapy. Get out of my room. Jeez, what a grump. He should really try to find some outlet for those. Negative uh, things. Okay. Pick up. Hmm. A seventeen seventy eight Pony Express general delivery stamp. Not too valuable, but it is uncancelled. P. Why is it not picking up? Okay. Do it manually. Okay. Easy. Now I have to send this off somewhere. Uh, mailbox. Downstairs. Wait, oh yeah, there it is. It's no use. We've already missed the deadline. Hmm? Uh, okay. How about... My P button is working. Okay, there we go. Oh. This surely is going to work. Yeah. What do you want? Hi there. Is this Dr. Fred Edison? Who did you think you called? Dr. Spock? Look, I don't have all day. This is Farley Crockett, LucasArts Games. I just discovered your contract on some very old files, and, well, our lawyers say that we uh, have to pay you $2 million in back royalties. <laughs> uh, for the use of your family in the Maniac Mansion video game. What? This is Farley Crockett. I heard that, you moron. When do I get my money? Oh, right now. It's been credited to your Swiss bank account. Operator, get me a travel agent. This is an emergency. All right. Um, I'm guessing... Okay, that must be his job done, right? Oh, I'll get you back 
Okay. Wait. What? If he's down here. Potato Shopping Channel, Wanda speaking. That's right. Um, I want okay. to buy a diamond. Yep. That will be two million dollars. Do you have a major credit card? Um, I have a numbered Swiss bank account. What's the number, sir? Um, it's eight four six four two seven three five three two seven. Very good, sir. We'll send the diamond by Pronto Post light speed delivery immediately. Thank you for calling. Now that's service. I'd better get this to Dr. Fred right away. That should do it. Where did you get this diamond anyway? Uh, it was donated by a group of Girl Scouts who were in the neighborhood. How heartwarming. According to my instruments, everything is in readiness. Your friends have activated their units, so it's time to throw the switch. Great. Hoagie. Yeah, Hoagie. I'm so happy to... Hi! Laverne! Wow! I'm so glad you two made it back okay. I hate to interrupt, but there's no time to lose. Now that you're back, we've got to proceed with the original plan and send you back to yesterday to turn off the sludge matic Huh? Say what? Now hold on a minute, Dr. Fred. They just barely made it back to our time alive, and I think... Ha <laughs> ha! You can't turn off the machine if I get there first. Uh-oh. Don't worry, guys. This time I know I can stop him. Uh-oh. I guess we better do something. Let's go. No, wait! You can't all go in uh -oh. the same stop. Didn't you see the fly? <laughs> We're... We're... We're some kind of monster, dudes. Why does the pants Great. have... Stuck Five legs, but we've only got two legs. To Bernard oh, is that a skirt? Okay. Never mind. Eat. Never mind. Mom warned me there'd be days like this. Now wait just a minute. It's green tentacle. What was that green? What? I believe he's trying to warn you about me. <laughs> oh. We are going to turn off the sludge matic and defeat your evil plan, overgrown worm. You sorry lot are no match for me. But there's three of us. Well, sort of. Nevertheless, I mean to crush you. Yeah? You and what army? Why, this army, of course. Uh-oh. Yikes. You see, I've been busy. These are all versions of myself from the future. I've been bringing them back here using the Chronojohn. Together, we will conquer the world. You ten there. Go to the basement and guard the sludge matic No one is to touch the sludge matic Now, creature, 
I must decide what excruciating tortures to leave them to me. I've been itching for a chance to test out my newly completed diminuator. Uh-oh. Excuse me. Um, us. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, the rest of you come with me. Next stop, the world. What do we do now? Whoa. It wears off. Aha. Run for it. Damn. The battery must not have had time to recharge, but it will. Mouse hole. I like your thinking. Shh. Maybe he won't find us. Um, it was in... You... Sick... The last one? You, middle, you middle one? Um, so... Back out. I think it wasn't here. Maybe you have to shrink me, right? Aha! Uh oh. Take that. <laughs> and this. Drat. Shame. All right. We even fit there. Yeah. Okay. Back in here. Um. We never use that bowling ball globe. Neat. Pick it up. <laughs> I guess we're suddenly uh, strong enough now. Neat. Okay. Hey. Where'd he go? Upstairs. Nope. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. Nope. Let's be downstairs. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. see where this is going all right just a hunch but neat <laughs> great now we can turn off the machine and prevent all this tentacle mayhem from ever happening I'm certainly glad that's over with. Yeah, let's get out of here. Leaving so soon, we haven't had the chance to get to know one another. <laughs> you humans amount to very little. <laughs> Eek! you like you insignificant insect <laughs> um, the human race is doomed I don't think I can do anything
Are you really a future version of Purple Tentacle? Who else would be brilliant enough to invent the Diminuator? How is it that you can grow hair without follicles? That's a good question. It wasn't easy, but the secret made me very wealthy. Just what is it you have against humans anyway? Humans are our oppressors. They made us live in this horrible motel. They created us in ungainly forms, so we could not rise against them. Try walking around with your legs tied together and glue on your shoes. You'll see what I mean. So? You wouldn't understand. Are you sure you're a future version of Purple Tentacle? I said I was, did I not? Can you remember stuff that hasn't happened yet? Naturally. Do we manage to defeat you and save the world? Of course not. Bummer. Do the sharks ever have a winning season? <laughs> no, but the tentacles do. <laughs> Could you give us some stock tips? Don't invest in shoes. <laughs> Are you more or less intelligent than the purple tentacle from our time? The same, but I've had 200 years to think things over. <laughs> You're pretty handy with that ray gun. Center of the forehead every time. Would you like a demonstration? I bet you couldn't hit your own forehead. Eventually nice I'll outsmart try. him. Let's discuss your hatred of humans further. What's to talk about? I detest the whole cackling, hand-wringing lot of you. But humans created the sludge matic which made you super intelligent. Nonsense. I created that myself and sent it back through time. I knew Fred's mad scientist ego would make him use it. How's that for a paradox? <laughs> it makes my heads hurt. Right. Anyway, you can see why I detest humans. We've got to go save the world now. <laughs> You can't stop me. Okay. Can I use? You humans are so short-sighted. <laughs> Eek! Hmm. There's no way to run. all you like you insignificant insect <laughs> right. maybe I miss something let's discuss your hatred of humans further what's to talk about I detest the whole cackling hand wringing lot of you I see. I see soon the rest of the world will too Let's discuss okay. your hatred so of humans the right further. One. What's to talk about? I Usually when they the let you loop, um, lot of you. it's to select the right one. Sounds like you just hate Dr. Fred. Hmm, I suppose you're right about that. I didn't start out hating... If I had the lever, he's just gonna just Dr. unlever it, I think. Um, here we go. What is that for the ray gun? Why don't you zap Fred with the ray gun for a change? Hmm, perhaps that would be entertaining. Here we go. Wait! You haven't heard the last of me. 
I'll be back. And the next time, the world and all its piffling inhabitants shall be mine. All mine. <laughs> all mine. Okay, little fella. Mail this to Siberia. Should probably like burn it or something. Yay. Our work here is done. Now we can go home. Well, kiddies, it's been more fun than a jumpsuit full of weasels. Now, kindly get your freakish hide out of my home. Please, Dr. Fred, you've got to get us out of this mess. We look terrible, and we can't buy clothes off the rack. <laughs> I'm getting sort of used to it. Maybe we could go on the talk show circuit. Help us, Dr. Edison. You're our only hope. Oh, all right. Hmm. So many Star Wars references. Does someone ring 1800 Star Wars? Hmm. <laughs> Idiots! It seems you're not exactly the sideshow attraction you imagined. You're just three complete goofballs stuck in one suit of clothes. Why do they only have two legs though? That's what I want to know. Well, I'm glad that's taken care of. Looks like everything's back to normal. Yay! Well, that is that. Uh, um, yeah, as soon as I forgot everything after war I'd gotten up to last time, it got a little bit harder, should we say? Awesome game. Um, I think I preferred the um, the humour of Sam and Max a little more, but I, don't know, I like I like the puzzles in this one. Yeah, They're nice and fun. I like the uh, the time travel stuff. Um, it is five past two in the morning, so it's time for bed for me.